everyone, welcome back to the Minimalism May playlist, a really special playlist that I've been building for you, giving you how to practical steps build and grow your love of minimalism in your life, taking it beyond our home and our wardrobes to include money, to include food, to include handbags, to include distractions, to include makeup, you name it, it is part of this how-to guide around minimalism may magic. So make sure you are subscribed so you can watch all the other videos. Now I'm actually talking today about minimalism, fashion and your wardrobe and I've actually already made about three different videos on how to build a capsule wardrobe. Now I'm going to give you seven steps as to how to downsize, declutter and minimize your wardrobe so you are really owning and defining your sense of style and building your own capsule wardrobe. All right, number one, the first tip before you pull anything out of your wardrobe, and that is to start defining your sense of style. Spend some time looking through your Instagram feed, looking at the websites that you like to go to for fashion, images or style icons that you admire. What is it about these images, these colors, these textures, these cuts, these fabrics, these people even, that you really admire? Because that tells you a lot about what are the base foundations to your wardrobe to build going forward. Now I've shared with you guys I absolutely love Grace Kelly. I think she is one of the most amazing style icons and whenever I look at a photograph of her or even Jackie Onassis um, they are always they always look like a million dollars and they're always still fashionable no matter what is going on in the fashion industry. So for me I like really simple clothes not crazy patterns or frills or cuts. I just like really simple but really feminine, really sexy and really polished. So that is what forms the baseline foundation for me. Also think about your color scheme. I highly recommend sticking to a baseline of colors so that everything is really complementary for each other. And when I look at those style icons they often wear a lot of white and blacks and navy blues and beiges. So for me that's what I've built my wardrobe behind me on but I also like to sometimes mix it up a little bit with a few pastel colors so light blues and light pinks that is what makes me feel good and because they're all complementary to each other I can get dressed in a hurry and I know that my wardrobe is pretty much good my outfit that I put together is going to look all right for the day so stop and take the time to look and write down and articulate what you like about certain types of style and why because that's the rules that you're going to create for yourself to follow going forward. Step number two is a little burst of inspiration. Now you have to do this with caution but what I recommend you do before you start pulling everything out and I promise you I'll be recommending that next and that is to spend some time looking on websites like Pinterest or looking at people who are decluttering experts on Instagram to get inspiration as to what is what you want your wardrobe to look like. Now you have to do this with a grain of salt because there are some beautiful images all over Instagram but they're not realistic. Um, they have like 10 pieces of items of clothing in the wardrobe which isn't practical for most people if you have a range of different activities. But to get that sense of inspiration and motivation to really work out what you want your final wardrobe to look like. Now for me when I do this it reminds me that I like to see all my clothes sitting on all the same coat hangers. That makes it look really neat and really uniform. The other thing that I really admire when I spend the time looking at these types of images is I like space between my clothes. I feel suffocated and overwhelmed when all my clothes are squished and scrunched and like getting all crumpled together and I can't see what I own. It feels incredibly disorganized and I find that I some beautiful pieces get lost in the back of my wardrobe which I don't want to do because it's simply a waste of money. The other thing that I discover when I actually look at these images is the color scheme. The way the clothes are presented, all the shirts are facing the right way, all the tops are facing the right way, all the pants are grouped together, all the shirts grouped together and then also on top of that to take it to another level it's also beautifully color schemed. It goes from light to dark so from your whites and creams to light pinks to light blues to navy blues to blacks. It is incredibly neat and it's really pleasing to the eye. So when I get up in the morning and open up my cupboard doors and remember this is my whole entire wardrobe behind me There's nothing stored off-site with the exception of my ski gear at my parents place I can see everything that I own and I can put together some really pretty outfits that are complimentary 
Tip number three is preparation. I highly recommend getting some coat hangers, but getting a big box of coat hangers so they're all the same. This will make your wardrobe look so much neater. I got off eBay the most amazing velvet black coat hangers. They're really slim so I can fit a lot in my wardrobe and all my clothes hang off these. I also have some old shoe boxes that I've used to help store my underwear. So I keep all my black underwear together and all my nude underwear together and then all my fun special um, underwear together. It's really neatly organized. I've just used shoe boxes. Now, this is not expensive at all. Obviously shoe boxes are free and the coat hangers were really cheap, but it just makes your wardrobe just look so much more professional, kind of like a shop, and makes you feel good about wanting to keep your wardrobe looking neat and tidy. All right, tip number four, we're gonna finally pull these items out of your wardrobe. Now, I would often recommend you pull absolutely everything out of your wardrobe. You give it a good clean, a good wipe down, dust and vacuum. But if you are tight on space or you're tight on time, you just wanna get a good kick start with doing this, just focus on one drawer or one cupboard or one section at a time. Pull it all out, give it a quick wipe down if you can, and then look at what you are putting back in your wardrobe. Now, this is where you need to be focused, you need to be present. You need to properly, and I'm gonna sound like a cray cray lady, but you actually need to engage and be present with each item. Stop and ask yourself, does this reflect what I'm trying to create back from step number one? Is this something that Grace Kelly or Jackie Onassis would wear and look fantastic? And if it doesn't actually work for you anymore, you need to put it in a pile which we will come back to later. Tip number five is once you've gone through all the items in your wardrobe and you've decided between the yeses that are back in the wardrobe and the no's that have been put to a pile, we need to go through those no's because there's some really valuable lessons for us to learn and build upon going forward in managing the ongoing journey of minimalism and capsule wardrobes. Go through each item and think, why did I buy this? What triggered me to buy it? Was it just because it's on sale? Was I feeling down at the time? Was I stuck and I was short or something and I had to quickly buy it in a hurry? We need to understand where we go wrong so that we don't make those mistakes over and over again and obviously waste valuable precious money that could be going towards other things in our life that give us more joy. Now when you are going through the pile of no's working out what you want to get rid of, I recommend really thinking twice about actually donating things. Now by no means am I saying don't donate to charity, but I have personally seen how overwhelmed the op shops and charity houses are by people going through massive decals of their home and overwhelming them and dumping way too much stuff on these charities. Stop and have a think about what you could actually sell. You would be amazed as to what you can sell on the secondhand market and make some money. That old jumper that you think's really quite daggy or that dress that just doesn't look right, you'd be amazed what you can get for it. I highly recommend opening up an eBay account or even using the buy sell swap groups on Facebook. You would be amazed as to how much cash you can quickly accumulate and it has been a massive contribution towards doing the thousand dollar project for myself. In fact, I've already got a pile here of things that I'm gonna be listing over the weekend. The other thing is when you come across items that are stained or got holes in it, have a go at cutting it up and using those clothes as cleaning rags. You will never ever waste any more money buying cleaning cloths ever again. This is a fantastic way of incorporating zero waste into downsizing your wardrobe and not overloading the charities around us. Step number six is to slowly put each item with honor and respect back in your wardrobe, but put it back in with pride. Make sure that all the shirts and blouses and tops are facing the right way. Look at incorporating your own color scheme that you like from your own inspiration from looking at Pinterest and images online and start to think about what is the most accessible way for you to get dressed in the morning. What are things that you need to grab in a hurry that are easily accessible in certain sections? I also highly recommend putting knitwear away in drawers. When they're hung up on coat hangers, you can sometimes stretch the shoulders and it really ages the jumpers. When you fold them up beautifully, I recommend stacking them on top of each other like a staircase so you can see all the different colored jumpers that you own and it looks so much more presentable, especially when you're trying to grab something and find something in a hurry. And of course, make sure you group common items together. I group all my pants together, all my skirts together, all my tops together, and all my blazers together. And then the final step is the most fun part, and it's where you stop, step back, 
and admire your new wardrobe. Admire the space that you have created. Admire what actually gets to stay in your wardrobe and make sure you start wearing those items more often. Now, as you step back and feel good about your wardrobe, make sure you start to really imprint in your mind the new rules around building your items. Now remember, minimalism is a journey. It's not like we go through this massive immediate declutter of our homes and wardrobes and closets and then that's it for life. No, it's an ongoing journey. It constantly needs our attention and to be nurtured. When you catch little things, you know, piling up or sneaking in, make sure you either take one thing out or it, don't buy it at all. Also little things like starting to embrace clothing brands that support ethically made clothes and also slow release fashion. Not these large shops that constantly every week have a new drop of entirely new clothes. It's a bottomless pit where you're always gonna feel that you have to buy something or need something or want something. Start supporting the brands that are trying to do the right Thing. And whenever you go shopping, remember those rules. Think about those style icons that you admire. Think about those images of a minimalistic wardrobe and how nice, soothing, and calm that makes you feel. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my three other capsule wardrobe videos because they are fantastic and really helpful. And if you have any other additional tips that you think is worth sharing in this video, please put the comment in the comment box below. Now, I have one final question to ask you. Are you enjoying this minimalism playlist? Would you like more and how often are you wanting to see these minimum videos published every three days or every five days let me know because we are halfway through the month of may and i still have more videos to come all right everyone make sure you're subscribed and i will see you for another video either money monday or minimalism may next week ciao for now